to you. I'm Pastor Rose and welcome to Jesus Our Healer. This morning we want to be reminded that God is our healer. And let's start with 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 5. Turn back and say to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. God will hear our prayers and God will heal you today in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 18, I have seen his ways, I will heal him. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6, Nevertheless, I will bring healing and health to it. I will heal my people. And in Matthew chapter 8 verse 2 to 3, Suddenly, a leper came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. We believe that today, God is really wanting to heal you. Some of you, you have been sick for a very long time, and you even wonder, is it still the Lord's will to heal me? Yes. Imagine that in your room where you are right now, in the hospital, in your house, in the isolation facility, wherever you are, imagine Jesus reaching out to you by the hand, healing you, touching you, and making you whole. At this time, we want to cry out to the Lord and ask Him for your complete healing and for your miracle. Join me in prayer. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, because we believe, O oh God, that it is your will, O oh God, to heal us. Sickness does not come from you, Lord, but instead, you want us, O oh God, to live in divine health. So, Lord, right now, we lift up to you every sick person that is joining us today in prayer, and even the family, O oh God, with sick relatives and sick loved ones. We thank you so much, O oh God, that no matter where we are, you are listening to our prayers, O oh God. And we thank you, God, that even at this moment, O oh God, you are washing away every sickness, O oh God, and healing is flowing in the bodies of your people. God, we pray for fever to be gone in Jesus' name. We ask, O oh God, for high blood pressure and high blood sugar, high cholesterol. We ask for all of these abnormalities, O oh God, in Jesus' name to be healed and that all of it will be stable and normal. Even those people, O oh God, who are having problems in their lungs, O oh God, primary complex, pneumonia, God. Some of them are having a hard time to breathe. Lord, in Jesus' name, let the breath of the Holy Spirit, O oh God, flow upon their lungs right now and let them be able to breathe in and out, O oh God, without any difficulties, O oh God. Lord, for those people who are having problems in their stomach, O oh God, Lord, problems in diarrhea, O oh God, GERD, acid reflux, all of these things, oh God, wash it all away in Jesus' name. Even those people, oh God, who are in so much pain, oh God, headache, back pain, arthritis, oh God, carpal tunnel, scoliosis, oh God, all of this pain, oh God, that, are, that they are experiencing in their bodies, wash all the pain away from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, that by your wounds, oh God, your people are delivered from this sickness. Your people, oh God, are freed from this pain, oh God. Thank you so much, oh God. We bring back all the glory and all the praises to you, God, for the answered prayer. Because we believe, God, that healing is already a finished work. We worship you, God, for touching your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. At this time, we want to spend a time of worship and let's open up our hearts as we sing the gift of hope. Oh, sing you told the childless. You 
told the childless to look at the stars and count grains of sand to show him who you are. You're the God of hope and you're never too far. Cause in the midst of the trial, by my side you are. of hope by a God of grace can turn a broken heart to sing a song of praise strengthening the weak to run the race oh, what a gift of hope by a God of grace Everything about you points me to my wonderful future because of you. My past erased today really matters not. I look towards tomorrow with a hope I got. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, what a gift of hope. Turn a broken heart to sing a song of praise, strengthening the weak to run the race. Oh, what a gift of hope by a God of grace. Oh, eagerly waiting with expectation. Can turn a broken heart to sing a song of praise, strengthening the weak to run the race. What a gift of hope by a God of grace. What a gift of hope by a God of grace. What a gift of hope. By a God of grace. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your hope. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for you are good. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I Wow, thank you, Lord, for your presence. Let's continue to read some of the promises of God for healing. Let's start with Matthew 4, 24. So his fame spread through all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, those having seizures and paralytic. He healed them. Luke 4, verse 40. Now when the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on them, on every one of them, and he healed them. And in Luke chapter 6, verse 19. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for the power came out from him, and he healed them all. So it is the Lord's will for us to be healed. And as you can see in this passage of scripture that we have read, as we lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. 
they will recover. So at this time, I want you to lay your hands on the part of your body that is sick and let's believe God for your healing. Now, if you are here and you are healthy, I want you to pray for someone who is sick in their bodies today. And as you pray for them, shout out their name. We believe that there's no distance in prayer. Let's pray right now. God, we thank you so much, O oh God, because we believe, O oh God, in your promise to us, O oh God, that as we lay hands on the sick, they will recover. So Lord, right now, we want to lay hands. As we lay our hands on the part of our body that is sick, O oh God, Lord, thank you that pain is going away. Sickness is going away. Diseases are going away, Lord. And Father, we believe, O oh God, that you will be the one to send forth your word right now to heal us, O oh God. God. Lord, we pray for those people, O oh God, who are experiencing terminal sickness, O oh God. Lord, we believe it's never too late for you. And God, we believe with us, with man, things are impossible, but with you, nothing is impossible. So Father, we ask in Jesus' name for full restoration of their bodies. We pray for those people with cancer, brain tumor, oh God. We pray for people, oh God, who are having kidney failure, cancer of the lungs, oh God, cancer of the uterus, cancer in the ovary, prostate cancer, oh God. We thank you so much, O oh God, that every cancer, O oh God, that your people are experiencing right now, wash it all away, O oh God. Lord, we ask that strength and life, O oh God, will flow in their bodies from the top of their head down to the sole of their feet, O oh God. Even those people who are um, undergoing chemotherapy, O oh God, Lord, let all the bad effects of the chemotherapy, O oh God, be reversed and give them full restoration. Father, we even thank you for those people who had stroke, O oh God, and there is permanent damage in their bodies, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you're going to cause that permanent damage, O oh God, to be restored in Jesus' name, that they will be able to move normal once again and do the things that they are not able to do before. We thank you so much, O oh God, because we believe that you are our healer and that you are the God who restores us, who gives us full restoration to our bodies. We worship you, God, for what you are doing right now, that miracle and healing is flowing. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, we want to open a great time of worship. And as we worship, continue to receive your healing from the Lord. Continue to reach out to Him and allow the miracle of God to flow in your bodies. Let's spend time in worship. Jesus is our healer. Let's worship Him.
is our healer. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. We believe that even at this moment, God is touching you and making you whole. He is restoring you completely. Join us once again tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. and God bless you. Jesus, our healer.